Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in, man. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. I always appreciate that, man. And what you're seeing here on the screen is the franchise tool created by one of the excellent modders over in the Madden Modern community, man. I think this guy's name is Synthos. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Man, what a phenomenal tool. This works in conjunction with your franchise. Again, this is the modded version of Madden 24 on the PC, which is where I will be playing Madden from now on. I've shown you guys a little bit of gameplay, and I told you I would get started with the franchise, man. And I've been away from Madden for a little while, just had some other things going on. But here I am. I'm back, guys, and I will be bringing this to you from the PC. Yes, now, let me give you a few disclaimers. I do not have a high-end PC. My PC is decent. I've been told that my graphics card could definitely use an upgrade. So the gameplay you're gonna see is pretty much running on 1440p. I do have a 4K resolution as far as my, uh, my screen, but again, uh, my computer doesn't quite have the oomph to run it and run it smoothly. So I may be looking to upgrade the graphics card at some point, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man. I'm on my PS5 more than I'm on the PC, so I don't know if I'm gonna upgrade just to play one game, <laughs> but we shall see. But other than that, man, you know, I'm just gonna say in advance, if you see any slowdowns or uh, a, a, a slight drop in a, a frame rate, that might be the reason why. You know, I'm getting pretty solid gameplay, but you know, before I got it up and running, I did have some moments where it sputtered. I haven't had that since, but we shall see. But basically, man, we're starting this franchise in season two. So what I would do in this particular video, man, is just kind of showcase this franchise tool a little bit and kind of show you what's going on with the team that I currently have that you'll see gameplay on and I will get gameplay out to you very, very soon. But let's take a look here, man. So first and foremost, they have the home screen here where obviously it's gonna show you the marquee matchup. I like the little graphic here, Eagles versus the Cowboys, Sunday Night Football. And of course it has the NBC logo there. Again, that's stuff that you're gonna see in the mods. Um, I'm pretty much using the CBS package because you know the Steelers play a lot on the CBS, but they got all of this kind of stuff going on, man. In the modern community what i also like here man when you take a look at the upcoming games or the games of the week you know it kind of has uh basically the betting numbers there you know you have uh, you know minus 3.5 minus 1.5 minus 3 like that's kind of cool a nice little touch and over here it will show you the you know who's clinched the playoff spot who's in the hunt down here you got news social media transactions player of the week which obviously that won't show right now because i'm just starting week one league injury report as well and so forth up here you go to schedule right it's going to show you the entire schedule and again i like the added touch man that they're going to show you uh also the network where the game is thursday night football obviously nfl network and these guys have done such a good job, man, to kind of figure out where these guys are playing. As you see, CBS, Fox, uh, NBC, ESPN, <laughs> look, the two Monday night games. And again, these are just small touches, man, that you got to appreciate. A little immersion that us crazy franchise heads enjoy. All right, you come over here to the teams. Obviously, it's going to show you all of the teams. Um, and this is basically going to show you who's, you know, who's the owner, who's not. Obviously, I'm doing a quote unquote online franchise, but it's not necessarily online because I'm on PC, but it's still going to kind of show that way. Uh, I am running with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Obviously, I'm the owner and I believe I am the commissioner of this league as well uh, in the franchise file from or one of the other guys uh, who does the modding. The start today I was able to start from the point like at the Pro Bowl so that's how I was able to go through everything but basically you know when you start with that file it's gonna be one team that's already designated as the default team in my case it was the Chiefs I had to change that and now I am the Steelers uh, stats of course will show all of the stats you know you have passing rushing receiving tackles sacks interceptions kicking returns standings just like the way that it displays here, man. And again, it's, it's about the presentation. And this is the way that I feel like in-game, the in-game version of the, the franchise menu should replicate something like this. Everything that I'm showing you should kind of look like that in-game. And not to say that the in-game menus are totally bad, 
in Madden, but clearly you can see where this is beyond a coat of paint. You know, this is sort of a facelift. It just gives it more of that immersion feeling. Division, conference, and league. All right, and then you can even skip ahead as you see the years here. Well, looks like I can't, okay, my bad. <laughs> uh players you can see all the active players trade center trade block all of that good stuff but again all active players free agency love how you can come here and look at your free agents again this is something that i can do on my pc if i don't even want to fire up madden right i can come in here look at a free agent and see who they are you click on them look it gives you this beautiful display of what he does well, what he does bad, yada, yada, yada. I don't know if I could take action. Yeah, it looks like I can sign the player from here as well. I haven't attempted to do this, guys, so I'm just saying I believe this is actionable. Uh, some of the guys in the, mod in the modern community that will see this video, I'm sure you will correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like you can take action here. Edit player. Well, let's just take a look. Yeah, look like I can edit the player there sign sign the practice squad uh and set to mft uh portrait so set mft portrait is the madden foot uh franchise tool that's what you're looking at these guys are able to input and you know import photos real life photos of these players and i like too i didn't even notice this until right now i like that once i get in here you know i could just continue to go down you know i don't have to back out of that position so that's cool i can also change the position while in this screen so I like that as well. Let's see who's on the market. Gardner Minshew, Geno Smith, Sam Donald, Joshua Dobbs. Cool. Joe Flacco. All right, so I like that. I like that a lot. But also, another benefit of this screen, very quickly and easily able to see your upcoming free agents. I, bro, there's no words of how well I feel about this. Again, stuff that I can do without firing up the game. You know, I don't necessarily have to go in game to look at this stuff. You know, a quick glance at who's gonna be an upcoming free agent. You know, when are they gonna be a free agent? It shows me that. You know, we look at Justin Jefferson here, four years pro, and it looks like he will be becoming a free agent very, very soon. So I really like that. Really like that a lot, man. This is, the again, another good asset. You can see who the practice squad players are. You also can come right in here and look at everyone's contracts. You know, of course, again, guys, they can't mod everything. So they can't rearrange the whole structure of how you do contracts in the game. Certain things that, you know, you just can't do. But again, just having this stuff at your fingertips. I like this right here with the NFL draft. You can look at the draft recap. So I'll kind of show you that. You know, I'll just show you the first round. It shows that the Bears took Caleb Williams and so forth. You can see who went where. This is a good pickup here, Marvin Harrison Jr. And then I was forced to take a right tackle, Patrick Paul. I was happy with that pick because, you know, still a fan. So what I'm going to try to do is replicate the real world the best I can. I'm going to move Broderick Jones over to the left tackle position and allow a new right tackle to see what he can do at right tackle. I like that, man. I like how they have the draft recap. You can look at each and every round. And then, of course, I can come in here and look at the draft class as well. And this is the 2025 class that, again, I imported from guys who've already provided that draft class. Now, pr progression report. I like this as well. There's a progression tool. I'll show you that in a moment. But this right here, man, just allows you to get a quick glance and see who progress and how they progress you know in this particular mod shout outs to my guy sabo sabo i'll say it both ways because some of y'all say it's you know some of you guys say sabo some of y'all say sabo i say sabo um but in his particular mod you know you're not really using the normal progression tool within madden as far as xp and all of that there's a progression tool built into this program and you're going to run that in week one right well preseason week run one and you just run that and it will automatically give the proper progression to players in a more realistic fashion so that's what you're seeing here and you can come in here and look at the report to see who got what if some of you Steelers fans are interested let's see if we can find the Steelers and I'll show you some of those guys 
Let's see. I think we begin on a uh, page 18, I believe. Yeah, here we go. So here we are. And this was before I got rid of some of these guys. Like uh, Trace McSorley is no longer on my team. I'll show you that in a moment. But I don't think it updated here just yet. Uh, can he pick it? Progressed a little bit in his awareness. Najee Harris didn't do much progression at all. And Anthony McFarlane. Kendall Milton, who is a rookie. So, you know, just kind of showing you how this transpires. George Pickens. Plus three in his overall. Plus three in awareness. Plus seven in blocking. So, again, just giving you an idea of how that progression tool not only works, but how you can see it. And here's the last thing, man, to show you here. Progression tool, right? And as you can see here, it's basically telling you when to run it. Uh, well, actually, it shows you down here. Progression two, preseason week one, using the start today. Run preseason um, uh, preseason week one of the following season. So basically, you're going to you're gonna run that one time a year, right? And like I said, it's going to pr uh, provide all of the progression and all of that automatically. And then down here is just explaining to you what all of these other things do. Uh, injured reserve fix. You know, you can fix the injury reserve players if you want to. You can also adjust the trade block. You can remove all injuries if necessary. Um, now, again, that's not something that you're really going to do. But I would say for people who, because this is a time where I've used it. Um, you know, if you want to just, let's say you want to super sim through preseason, right? If, if that's your choice. The way Sabo has the injury set, you're going to see some in it definitely some healthy injuries so if you want to get all of your players to week one healthy you know this might be a time you want to come in here and remove it but like i said this is not something that most uh diehards are going to use unless it's uh you know an extreme reason to use it just showing you that it's optional right so mostly just showing you what is available in this particular uh program here and then if we come take a look at the team man this is kind of how you can look at your players your overall is going to show you team leaders, offensive team statistics, defensive team statistics, your standings, injury report, your top players. Schedule is going to show you your schedule, and this is preseason. Um, and I did sim, which one of these? I simmed this one, uh, week three. And I played this one, and I played week one. And as you can see, it took a loss. But I did sim week three against the Niners because, again, I just wasn't going to waste my time playing all of the preseason games. So statistics are shown here. Roster is shown here. Depth chart. And you can come in very quickly and see what's going on here. As far as the depth chart, offense, defense, special teams, specialists. All right, just like it looks on the console, but in my opinion, looks a little bit better. You got your staff, and again, you're dealing with people who are modding the game. So, as you can tell, they got the real names in there. Well, obviously, we know Eddie Faulkner is no longer the offensive coordinator, but you know, you know. Um, finances. So, all of this stuff right at your fingertips. And I think that's about it, man. Let me see. Is there anything else? And like I said, some of you guys who do the modding and have used this tool way more than I have, Maybe there's things that I'm not showing that I should be showing, but you can point that out in the comments. But like I said, man, just wanted to show you all this um, Madden franchise tool and let you know that, yes, new franchise series is coming from me. I know I say that all the time, but I, I promise it is coming, coming very soon. I will stay consistent and keep playing it because it is a lot of fun on PC, the gameplay, and yeah, so look out for that. So. All right, I'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Gameplay will be coming shortly of week one. Looks like we're taking on the commander, so I'll have that coming your way very, very soon. But outside of that, man, I'm always going to remind you, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. Outside of that, I shall catch you in the next one. Peace.